Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be asking the question, should you work for a trucking company before you actually become an owner-operator? Well, the answer to this question depends on you, and we're going to kind of give you both scenarios. Um, we have students who want to come right out of school and start their own trucking company and get going, and they're super hungry to get going. And we have other students who want to actually get some experience first, and then get on the road on themselves. So, and if I was to kind of give general advice, my general advice for most people would be to go get some experience at a trucking company first. These are the few reasons that you have to keep in mind when you are going through it. The first thing is that you have to understand is once you get your license, it's kind of like when you just started first learning how to ride a bike. You are in no way a professional professional bike rider, right? And same thing, you're no way a professional truck driver once you get your license. The license, it actually states in the actual CDL manual, the CDL test is to provide you a test that will make sure that you meet the minimum requirements of actually being safe on the road. Now there's a big difference between minimum requirements and being safe on the road and becoming a professional driver. And now if you do want to go and get your own truck, understanding that you don't have the experience level, you might actually hurt yourself in the long run and we'll kind of give you different scenarios. So understanding that you're probably not going to be an experienced driver and you're not going to be a professional right out of school unless you have some natural talent or whatever it is, it always re recommended to go with a trucking company first. A few benefits for that is one, they most of, most of the bigger trucking companies that hire brand new students right out of school have some type of training program. So you, one, you know exactly what the orientation process looks like. So if your goal is to actually create a big trucking company, you know exactly what the biggest trucking companies do out there so you can actually go through it yourself. You can see what you want to tweak uh, and what you want to keep when you actually start expanding and opening up more things so you don't have to reinvent the wheel from scratch, right? And these people have thousands of trucks and they've spent a whole lot of money on perfecting the process that they have to get their uh, new truck drivers ready for that. The other thing is, in case that there's a mistake and there's gonna be a learning curve, worst case scenario, you're gonna make the mistake on their equipment, which means it's not really gonna cost you too much to repair it, since you're just gonna be a company driver whatsoever. Now, one of the downsides of it is you are gonna be making less money. So if you wanna think about it, at the end of the day, you would be an employee of that business, which means, one, they're gonna be training you, two, they're gonna be giving you equipment, you don't have to go purchase your truck, you don't have to pay for the fuel, nothing like that. So you have a lot less responsibility, which means that you're gonna have a lot less money, but now you can just focus on just straight driving. So I, if I was you and I was somebody who was really nervous about, hey, should I really just go on my own? What I would do is I would get a job that's either regional or over the road so I get a lot of different types of experience available when it comes to different ranges and everything that's going on and you have the built-in support to actually help you out between trainers, between dispatchers, between everything and all that support you will not have if you decide to be a one-man show on your own and start your own trucking company. So that piece of advice pretty much fits most of the people watching this video. But for the slim few that want to go and you guys are just thick-headed and say, no, John, I want to do it, I'm going to give you the pros whether you should do it or not. So say that you have a desire to just open up your own trucking company. You don't care about the training. You don't care about anything. You're a self-starter. You're good to go. You'll figure it out on your own. If you're one of those kind of people and you don't mind making mistakes and you don't mind paying for your mistakes, then I definitely recommend going for the owner-operator route. One, you'll be forced to learn a lot faster because us humans, we learn a lot faster when we have to pay it out of our own pocket, right? So any mistakes that you do make, you're going to learn. Uh, the other pro is that you're able, as long as your mistakes aren't too big and don't cost you too much, you're actually able to make more money in a much shorter pan uh, amount of time, but your responsibilities are also a lot bigger, right? So you're not going to have any of the support. That means you have to purchase your truck. You have to find out a maintenance shop to actually help you out to make sure that the truck stays up to date. You want to make sure that you're finding the proper loads out there. You want to make sure you have all the proper filings when it comes to taxes and so on and so forth. Well, the company filings. Uh, and so on and so forth and the list goes on and on and on. If you're a kind of person who says, hey, I'm ready, just give me the work and let me just go, I'll figure out the rest later, then that's definitely the thing for you. One, you're going to, you are going to want to make sure that you have enough money in there and we don't just talk about money for a down payment on a truck. Remember, you're still going to need to buy some equipment for the vehicle. You're going to want to make sure you have at least a month's worth of fuel 
Uh, you want to make sure that you have equipment for the trailer itself. You want to make sure that you can pay for your insurance and everything like that. But you also want to give yourself some buffer room because, say for instance, a tire pops on you. That could be anywhere from a $400 tire to a $1,000 repair depending on where you're at and what kind of situation happens. So those mistakes are all things that we can't really account for and that's why you want that buffer zone. And if you are that person who just says, hey, I don't care, I'm a risky guy, I'm ready to rock and roll, then become an owner operator right off the bat and don't even worry about actually getting some experience with a trucking company first. So if you are interested in either one of those options, the first thing that you have to do is actually get a CDL license because you can't get on the road to freedom with a trucking company or with your own company unless you have that actual CDL in your pocket. The best place to do that is our CDL driving school. We're the best uh, CDL school in the entire world and that's brought to you by the world's greatest uh, TV show, which is right over here that we were aired on not too long ago. And that pretty much explains why we are the best. One of the cool things about being a student here is we offer guaranteed training courses where we can guarantee that you walk away with your license. We have payment plans available where all you need is $500 down to get started. And then we can work out a payment plan for the rest. So if you're interested in learning more about the process, give our team a call 908-525-3609 or check out the virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks and have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.